Gregor, first of all, congratulations. Your uh, contract's been extended until 2021. You must be delighted with that news. Yeah, look, I would have a huge privilege to, to coach a national team. It's great that um, I can continue that. Uh, I've really enjoyed the last uh, season, last 12 months, and um, there's a lot of work to do in the future, but I'm, I'm delighted that I'm going to be involved for another couple of years. Believe it or not, it's been 14 months you've been at the helm now as, as Scotland head coach. What are some of the highlights for you? Oh, there's there's a lot. Um, it is a roller coaster. There's been some great highs. I think being out here um, at the end of the game against England this year was was fantastic. The the atmosphere and the ground, the joy in the supporters' faces, um, the players as well, the effort they put in, the satisfaction they got from winning, uh, but also um, seeing the the team perform well away from home uh, in Australia in the, in the first game. Uh, or the first big game that, that we were in charge of, of the team and and most recently in Argentina, a terrific performance to, to win against a very good side. You must be delighted to know that a few other coaches have signed on as well. Yeah, absolutely. Look, it's a, it's a coaching group um, that is there to, to support the players and get the best out of the players and I've got huge support from, from those coaches. Um, Matt Taylor's been by my side for, for a number of years at Glasgow and, and now with Scotland. Uh, Mike Blair's done a fantastic job uh, since he got into coaching uh, and he really helps me from an attack point of view. And Danny Wilson coming uh, on board is, is going to be a, a real exciting time for us as a, as a coaching group. Um, someone that's got excellent technical knowledge but also has a, that broader view of the game um, and I'm sure he'll, he'll improve us and improve our playing group.